If you've played Destiny for any period of time, then you know the general themes of the franchise. Fight to protect humanity, defeat the bad guys, and, and this is my favourite part, take their stuff. But have you ever looked at the Traveller, aka the big white ball in the sky, and wondered, what is up with this thing? It doesn't help anyone, it doesn't talk to anyone, it just sits there and takes up space. If you've ever wondered why that is, then, well, you'll know the answer by the end of this video. Probably. Hopefully. All right, let's just let's get into it. I'm going to try and explain this in a way that's understandable for lore meisters and normal people alike by breaking this down step by step. First question, what is the traveler? No one actually knows for certain, interestingly enough, but Osiris has thrown the term onto former around, which sounds like part of the title for a future video now that I think about it. Okay, well what is the Traveler known for? Giving the humanity of the 21st century a golden age, as well as creating the player characters known as the Risen or the Guardians. Okay, well what was the golden age? When the Traveler tripled human lifespan, advanced science by several decades if not centuries, and terraforms the various planets and moons of our solar system. Humanity would go on to colonize these worlds. Well, what happened to the Golden Age? An event known as the Collapse, when a lot of people did a lot of dying, when the colonies were destroyed, and when the Traveler was crippled. It was also when the Guardians were first created. Interesting, okay, well what does this have to do with the Traveler not talking or helping us? That's a good question, I'm, I'm glad you asked that. A lot of what happened during the Collapse is shrouded in mystery, and rightfully so. I mean, the internet was probably wiped out then, so I'd say a lot of info went down the drain with it. But what I can tell you that is relevant to your question, I will. The Collapse happened because of three invading forces. The Hive, the Pyramid Ship Fleet, and the Winnower. Now I won't talk about the Hive, and I won't talk about the Pyramids, but I will now introduce you to the Winnower and why he came to kill everyone. History time! The universe was created by the light and the darkness, or rather, the beings who wield those powers, the gardener and the winnower. These two dysfunctional parents have been fighting for custody over the universe since it was created, because they each believe they know best how it should be raised. The gardener loves life, and wants everything to grow and thrive, so she goes around and gives golden ages. The Winnower believes that only strong life should live, and that weak life should be destroyed. He gets triggered by just the idea of Golden Ages, because in his logic, if you want something, you have to take it, otherwise you didn't earn it, and so don't deserve it. So like I said, these two have been fighting each other for ages, with the Gardener giving races Golden Ages, and the Winnower chasing after her, destroying those Golden Ages and trying to catch her. Why are you running? Why are you running? Alright, let's fast forward to the Collapse. Our Collapse, rather. The Traveler has given humanity a golden age, and now the Winnower has arrived. I think you get what he was planning on doing once he arrived. It's time for Slap Slap. By the end of the Collapse, the colonies were destroyed, and the Traveler was cornered and defeated on Earth. It was at that moment when the Traveler created the Guardians, and in doing so, made a statement. You see, all this time, since the creation of the universe, the Gardener and the Winnower had been fighting over whose ideology was right, but they never had arguable proof that they were right. By creating the Guardians, the Gardener basically said this, I have created these ridiculously overpowered beings who have no memories of their past lives and so no moral compasses or allegiances. Because my ideology is right and the natural way of the universe, they will, with no influence from me, live according to my beliefs. They will use their power not to conquer, but to protect life, even those that are weaker than them. So the wind were left, and the gardener was silent, and both have watched us ever since. So far, the guardians have proved the gardener right. We built a city to protect the weak, and as Zavala has said, we are not conquerors. So those are the answers I could give to you. 
It's not that the gardener slash traveler doesn't want to help us or talk to us. It's that if she did, that would count as her influencing our actions and her entire argument would fall apart. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped and I thank you for your time. Okay, um, this is the Cool Kids Club. This is for people that have watched all the way to the end of the video. You guys are absolute legends. I have a few things I want to say. Okay, we're getting off script here. First thing, if you're new here and you like this kind of Destiny content that I've got going on, I actually have, I think it may be one or two playlists filled with Destiny content that I've made so far. So if you're interested, check that out. I mean, I've got a whole video based around the Winnower and the Gardener with more information about them. So if what I mentioned in this video piqued your interest in those characters, well, there's more on my channel about them. At the same time, if you have any questions about Destiny lore, any topics about Destiny lore that you want a video made about, just make a request in the comments and I'll add it to my list and I'll get to work on it, I promise. At the very same time, um, if you want to subscribe, I would certainly appreciate it. Um, this channel is very new and honestly it's grown way faster than I honestly thought it would and that was with me kind of juggling college and stuff like that. Well college for me is done this year. I'm now on my holidays and I plan on seeing how far I can take this channel during that time. So if you want to join the journey and you want to become part of this rise, you're more than welcome. Anyway, with that being said, I thank you for the time that you spent on my video and on my channel in general and uh, take care. Take care.